Hello, I'm James Malarkey with Malarkey Roofing Products. Today we're going to demonstrate the Malarkey OmniSeal 2-ply roof system. Today we're going to use our 2-ply system, which is the 420 self-adhered base sheet and Malarkey's OmniSeal 430 cap sheet. For today's job, we have a variety of tools that we're going to use. A hook blade knife, a caulk gun, metal snips, primer, measuring tape, cap nailer, cleaning supplies, and a silicon hand roller. Before we begin, make sure that the deck is clean, dry, and free of debris. Make sure it is well swept and inspect it for nail heads. In addition, make sure the joints are no wider than a quarter inch. Starting with the base sheet, we'll roll it out and cut it into manageable lengths. Make sure to leave enough material to overhang the edge of the roof by two inches. As a safety precaution, I'm wearing gloves. We're using hook blade knives, and in some cases torches, and as well the material likes to stick to your hand. Now that we've cut our base sheet to length, we're going to let it relax in the sun for about 5 to 10 minutes. This prevents wrinkling and promotes adhesion. Malarkey's base sheet has multiple lines drawn on the surface. These are for the lap lines and the coarse lines. 2 inch, 4 inch, 12 inch, 18.5, and mirrored to the other side. These are the lap lines, these are the coarse lines. Now that our material is relaxed, we're going to cut one third off of the base sheet. The reason why we're doing this is to smooth the transition so that our laps don't stack. This prevents water from traveling in between the sheets. Before we install the base sheet, make sure to put your sheet into position. We want to overhang the material at least two inches on each end. You can use your two inch lap line to set your overlap. Malarkey's base sheet has a split release film. Starting with the back side of the release film heading up the roof slope, we'll release the film on the top side. Push down firmly on the top section and begin releasing the film at a 45 degree angle. Pulling the release film at a 45 degree angle removes wrinkles and lays the material down flat. As well, help to release. Starting from the edge, begin rolling the membrane in to anchor the sheet into place. Starting with the eave side of the roof, we can roll the membrane back and begin to release our film. Starting from the center of the sheet, we're going to roll the membrane into place, putting adequate pressure down. This will help promote adhesion, prevent wrinkles, and make sure the material is secure to the deck. Cut the excess material off so that there's a 2 inch overhang. At the edge of the deck, we're going to cut a 45 degree angle. We can now wrap the edge of the deck with the material. Push it down with adequate pressure and then wrap the edge. From the eave of the roof, start from the center and work your way out to the rake edge of the roof. At the edge of the roof where we wrap the material, we're going to place a plastic cap nail every 8 inches. This will prevent uplift. This is the only place on the roof deck that you'll use a plastic cap nail. Otherwise, you'll use it on the transition for your synthetic underlayments. Now that our first course is in place, we're going to put our succeeding courses in. They all are installed the same way, and we're going to use a 4 inch overlap. As soon as the release film is removed, roll it into place. Make sure to apply adequate pressure on the laps so that they're nice and tight. Check them with a probe, make sure they can't lift. Roll the material over the edge and work it from the center out. At some point you're going to run out of material and you're going to need to make an overlap to transition this material into the new material. This is called a T-seam transition. At the edge of the material, cut a 45 degree angle. With a new sheet, overlap the preceding sheet 6 inches. Remove the release film and roll into place. Make sure to put pressure on the transition location. This prevents water from siphoning up the transition. At the top of the succeeding sheet, cut another 45 degree angle, four inches at the selvage edge, and roll into place. You're probably wondering why we're cutting 45 degree angles at the edge of the sheet. 
This prevents water and hydrostatic pressure from pushing water up the membrane. Because we're working into a steep slope transition, we're gonna make sure to work our material in nice and tight to the deck surface and work from the center out. Make sure to work your material in slowly. You don't wanna rush this part because you want your transition to be tight to prevent water from weeping in. At the rake edge of the roof, we can trim right against the edge of the roof. At the edge of our transition, I made a four inch strip that proceeded into the rake position. I will also put a patch piece in this location to help make that transition watertight. Now that our base sheet's installed, we're about ready to put the metal edge on. But before we do, I wanna talk a little bit about the base sheet and some of the performance features it has. One, as you notice, it has a green surfacing on it. This is an acrylic primer. What this does is it creates a smooth, positively charged surface that helps promote adhesion with the back coating from the cap sheet. In addition, the product meets ASTM D1970, which means that it has self-healing properties. Watch this. Pressing firmly around the ring, it will seal the water inside. More impressively, using a ring shank nail will press a hole through this membrane and it will self seal around that hole. Now you can create a squirt gun for your children. <laughs> We're going to install the drip edge metal. Malarkey recommends a 26 gauge metal. We recommend a minimum of two inch flange on the inside deck, but highly recommend three inches and greater. Make sure that the metal is clean and free of debris. We recommend acetone or vinegar and water. Simply spray the metal and wipe it down. Now that we're installing the edge metal, I'm gonna show you how to cut a corner. First, start with a vertical line. Radius into that vertical line about three inches into the edge. Cut a small relief at the bottom of the corner and then wrap the edge. Cut your tube of caulk at the 1 4th mark at a 45 degree angle. Punch a hole in your tube so that the material can come out. Apply a quarter inch bead around the edge of the roof. Try to stay within one inch of the edge so that the caulk doesn't squeeze out past your metal. Now that our metal is cut and the border of the roof is caulked, we're ready to install the metal and put the fasteners in place. Using a roofing nailer or roof nails, place a nail every three inches staggered or six inches offset. At the edge of the metal, where the metal transitions, place caulk in between the seam to prevent water from siphoning into the roof system. Overlap the metal a minimum of four inches. You're likely wondering why I placed a nail every three inches offset, as well as a bead of caulk around the entire perimeter of the roof. This is to prevent the metal from moving during an expansion and contraction, which can separate the materials from the roof system, causing premature failure. Once you're done nailing, inspect the nail heads. Make sure they're flush with the deck and not protruding. If they are, use a hammer and nail them into place. Now that our nails are in place, we're going to prime the metal. Just do a light coat Now that the primer is dry, we're ready to install the cap sheet. Using a six to eight inch strip of the base sheet, you can strip in the metal edge. Although not necessary, it does reinforce the roof system and seals in the metal envelope. Now we're ready to put down the cap sheet. Just like the base sheet, we're gonna cut it to manageable lengths, allow it to relax in the sun, and then begin our installation. As we install the cap sheet, we wanna start at the roof edge. If we have excess material, we'll trim it off. We wanna do this progressively as we work our way up the roof. Like the base sheet, 
the cap sheet needs to be released from the top of the film at the leading edge of the roof. Pull at a 45 degree angle and remove the film. We're now going to roll it into place at the edge to anchor it in. With the edge in place, we're now going to release the film on the front side of the sheet. Now begin rolling the membrane in from the center out and make sure it's fully adhered. After applying pressure on the leading edge, use your probe to make sure it's adhered. Using the metal edge as a guide, we'll cut the cap sheet. It'll make a nice clean cut. Again, it's very important to make sure that the roof deck is clean while you're installing the cap sheet. Make sure it is properly swept as you work up the roof system. Now that our first course of the cap sheet's installed, we're putting in our succeeding sheet. You can overlay this right over the selvage edge, but I would add about a quarter inch to make sure that the selvage edge is not exposed. Malarkey uses a double-sided release film, so you can apply the back coating directly to the release film without it sticking. Now you can remove your release film from your selvage edge. Make sure to roll it in place. Using a metal edge as a guide, you can cut the cap sheet with a nice clean cut. Because we're working into the transition of a steep slope roof, we want to make sure that we get the membrane nice and tight against the roof deck. We're going to roll the material back, pull the release film off, and work it in from the center out. And keep it as tight against the deck as possible. Now that the roof system's installed, make sure to check your seams as well as the edge with a probe. If anything can uplift, make sure to put adequate pressure against it and roll it into place. It doesn't hurt to reinspect the roof a couple days after the installation. All right, so we've completed our OmniSeal 2 ply roof system. We've got the base sheet down, the cap sheet down. The roof is looking amazing. If you can tell, this actually matches Malarkey's granule offering. We offer six different colors of this product. Now, if you were looking for a more complex detail video, those are available. Please search our YouTube page. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something and we'll see you in future videos.